made a short film on how the TV system works at Villa del Riara. I hope you find it useful. Power socket is on the right. But that goes to a surge protector which carries the plugs for this all the system. Surge protection is hugely important here in Cyprus because they have electricity spikes which can prove expensive. This is the internet modem, simple little modem. System runs on 10 megabytes. And this is the Android box, currently switched off as indicated by the red light. And these are the controls. The Android box control, marked zoom tag. And the main elements of interest are the on off button, the red white uh, button and white with the symbol. The stop button, which is critically important. The return button, the scrolling up, down, left and OK. There's some volume controls on that as well. And uh, the cursor button, because that can change from the scrolling system to the mouse system, if you prefer to use that. Then we have the television controls, which are bigger. On off, source, various scrolling that you don't need because it's all done through this. A return button, and again, volume. So when you come in, it may be switched on, it may not. So to switch the zoom tack box on, press the red button and the light should go blue. It's important to be pointing at the box because it's pretty directional. So point it directly at the blue light when you want to use it. Then turn the television on in the normal way and you should get the Thompson screen. It does take a bit of time as you'll see. Now, in this case, it has come straight to the task screen for the Kodi system, which is good. It may not do that. Sometimes it comes up saying no signal. And if that's the case, and you've already switched the zoom tack box on, go to the source button, top left, and it'll give you a choice. Well, there is only one choice really. At the minute and that's digital set top box choose that and off you go so that will bring up either way either automatically or by checking that through the source on the TV you will come to this screen a TV guide TV stations which is just a different and more reliable form than that catch-up TV Incursion, which is box sets and films, etc. Another one with box sets and films, not quite as good as Incursion, I don't feel. A subscription system that we're not connected to. And YouTube, if you want to look at YouTube films, such as what this one will be. So, how do we start? We use the scroll down button and we scroll through files down to the bottom line and it takes you to the TV guide and if you flick the T press the TV guide it comes up with your channels and what's on now this isn't always 100% reliable because it takes its information from third-party sources so there is a different way of doing it we press the stop button we press the return button Oh, missed hit the wrong button there and if we go to expat TV
you'll see the system's working. The cogs turn quite slowly. And it'll give you a selection of channels there. If you select one, oh, I should mention, do not select that, that blue arrow. That involves downloading stuff. And we don't want to do that. So we press BBC One. It's working. Now it's finding all this on the internet. And here we have Laura Kunzberg and Andrew Marr talking about Brexit, something I do not need this morning. So we're going to stop that. Which will take you automatically back to this. Okay, I haven't seen that the TV does work. We'll go back one. We quickly look at catch up which may or may not be of use to you. And this offers catch-up screens. We'll go to BBC One again. And it will show you days that you can catch up on. And we'll take Friday the 16th for the sake of argument and that will show you things. So question time on Friday the 16th of November and there it is and that gets powered by these people somehow. So we're going to stop it again. We're going to go back using the back button and we're going to go all the way back to the main screen. So next thing to show is incursion. So we'll go down. I've done it again. I flicked onto the wrong one. So we move across to incursion. Now this is the most interesting one. Because it's got a lot to offer, but the thing to remember is it's a pirate box, so it may not always work the way we want. So we're going to pick movies. And I'm going to pick action movie. You can pick on language, you can pick on how new it is. You can, you can pick whatever you want. Now, it's looking for action movies. And there are five pages of them. Now, bear in mind, some of these will be at teens. So if you've got children, you might want to control the use of this. I don't think there's anything particularly nasty on the system. But I've obviously got no control over it. So we'll go for the Outlaw King, because that's quite a new one, I think. 2018. So we'll choose that. And then we'll wait. Because what the system will now do is it'll go and look for versions of it. That might be available. And there it's doing it now. But this does take time, so please be patient. And it's looking for the number of providers in various definitions. I tend to go for 720 or SD even. And the reason being the bandwidth in the village is limited. And if everybody's trying to live stream HD films, there won't be much left. Let's find a few.
you know, it's done its stuff and it's preparing a list for us. And there's our list. Now, as I said, I'm not going to choose the 1080. I'm going to go for a 720. And I have to wait now again to see if it'll work. Well, it's already started watching this in a previous edit. I will resume this from where I left off. Again, it's working. It does take time. And there you go. There's a film. No, I Buffering can be a problem because there's a lot depends on bandwidth, usage, the weather conditions, you name it will affect it. In generally speaking, you can watch a film without too much trouble. But if you find the one you're working on is buffering too much and it's irritating you, then, as always, go for the stop button. It takes you back to another to the original list and pick somebody else. And it, the system knows where you left off. and gives you the choice of watching from the start again or to the other point. There are, seven, there are 36 providers of that film, but not all will be as good as each other. And if this one doesn't work, you just try another. And as I say, you can watch films on this, no problem at all generally, if that's what you want to do. But it does take a while to get set up, but once you're set up, away it goes. Anyway, I'm not going to wait for it. And I'll stop there. Stop button. Return. So, just to recap, make sure the Zoom Tag box is on when you switch the TV on. If it doesn't pick up the zoom tack box automatically, go to the source button on the TV control and select digital set top box. Scroll down to this bottom bar and for TV, either TV guide or expat TV will give you what you want. You've got catch up TV if you need it. The incursion system if you want to watch box sets. And films. And do be patient with it because as you see it's a lengthy process. And YouTube if you want to play with that. Please don't alter any settings. Please don't download stuff without speaking to Tim. Please don't alter the way the thing is set up and please always make sure that the plugs are in the uh, surge protector otherwise I'll have no system at all. Anyway, hope that was of help. Enjoy. Bye.